We're here at ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Minister Ali Avasov, who is Minister for Communications and Information Technologies for Azerbaijan. Minister, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. I'd like to start off by talking about this year's event's theme. It's embracing change in a digital world, and I'd like to ask you, where do you see the biggest opportunities in that change for industry, uh, for society, and what do you think are the biggest challenges? Yes. Really, the digital world has been dramatically changing over the last five, seven years. And to bring in the new opportunities. From my point of view, first is uh, the, the breakdown of the borders. Now the digital world is becoming very really smaller, smaller, and without any borders. And it uh, gives uh, the opportunities to the people, to the business, to the civil societies to cooperate, uh, to interact uh, from different countries uh, and without uh, governments. But it is the new uh, view which we see uh, with the development of the digital the world. And uh, it, uh, the global cooperation is changing. Global cooperation uh, the, uh, is the, the role of the governments uh, is reducing the, in the global cooperation. And uh, the uh, power in the global cooperation is shifting from the governments to the people, to the societies, to business. But that is the new opportunity, I think. But second, uh, from my point of view, uh, we see the uh, dramatic takeoff in the digital the, uh, development or in the developing world, in developing countries. Uh, and uh, it uh, brings new opportunities for the people of the, the uh, developing countries. It is the, uh, the, we are waiting uh, to have the penetration of the digital world, the internet penetration, and uh, under the, the 30 percent by the end of this year. It is very big number, and uh, the uh, government uh, tried to uh, help people to, uh, to assist uh, in the building of infrastructure and to give the uh, access to the people in the developing world also. And uh, these opportunities uh, bring to the people from the uh, developing world and uh, the, uh, um, to uh, new opportunities for having a job and uh, to have an access to the, uh, the healthcare services, to education. And altogether, uh, this process is, uh, uh, that helps to the governments to solve, to accelerate Millennium Development Goals achievement. Uh, these two aspects, I think it is the new opportunities of the development of the digital world. And how, in particular, is Azerbaijan embracing the change? Yes, Azerbaijan uh, is the developing country, but uh, over the last three, five years has been making big progress in the, uh, the IT, and now the internet penetration in Azerbaijan is about 70%. Uh, and uh, the, in spite of the, this fact, but Azerbaijan government is keen to continue uh, its activity in the uh, building new infrastructure uh, for the internet, internet uh, infrastructure. We have uh, a special uh, strategy on the broadband infrastructure building. And due to this strategy and project, Oil Fund of Azerbaijan is funding uh, uh, the digital um, the internet broadband infrastructure um, but, uh, with the, uh, the amount of uh, funding about a half a billion US there and uh, the, uh, the other issue of Azerbaijan and now the, my government uh, 
uh, is trying to speed up its activity in the, uh, the region of the international cooperation. Uh, and uh, I'd like to bring one example of Azerbaijan. Now, one, uh, the, the, uh, Azerbaijan is, uh, Azerbaijan government uh, the, uh, is supporting uh, to the bringing the, the quality and high connectivity to the region. And the, the project, so-called TASM, trans eurasian Information Superhighway, is initiated by Azerbaijan. And recently, in the September 67th uh, session of General Assembly of UN, a, uh, a issued special resolution and supported and asked the Azerbaijan government to, uh, the, to, to support the creation of special alliance of the connectivity in Eurasia. And Azerbaijan will do it. And now, uh, uh, the uh, recently launched uh, the special information highway from uh, Europe uh, to the Arabian the, to the Arabian uh, the countries, and it is uh, the, the Azerbaijan support this uh, the project also. And we know, but uh, for the developing world, firstly the connectivity is very important uh, to bring the access uh, the, uh, the, uh, to the people. Uh, access to information, access to internet, all these resources. Yeah, no, no. But Absolutely vital. And, and finally, I'd like to ask you, you've attended a number of events such as this. Uh, I wanted to ask you, what is the value, in your opinion, of attending events such as ITU Telecom World 2013? Yes, this uh, annual uh, conference and exhibition uh, became good platform for the global cooperation uh, and the, uh, for the technology transfer, for the improving the investment efficiency. Uh, the, uh, and the, uh, this conference uh, plays a big role in these uh, things. And to uh, uh, support one of the the main the priority of activity of this conference the exhibition uh, have been oriented to the developing world. What a lot of uh, con countries from Africa, they, uh, they take very active part and they are becoming, uh, they propose their solutions, their proposals, their projects to the world. It is very uh, important. And the, uh, uh, I would like to stress one moment, but uh, unfortunately, European countries uh, are not so active uh, in this conference. But uh, we call all the countries from the developed world to be very active here, because all the world here, all, we discuss all things, and a lot of issues concerning the global problems. And, uh, and here, the participation of the, the developed world, uh, the, the, it is very important. We hope that for the, the next year, the, they will be more active. Minister Abbasov, thank you very much indeed for being uh, with us today. Thank you. Thank you. It was very great to be with you. Yeah, thank you.